Good evening, I'm John Matthew, and sitting here next to me is Mary Elizabeth, and you're watching World Christian Network Channel 7 at 7. And as always, welcome to the Welcome Center. For our first segment, field reporter Phoebe Thomas has a developing story about a woman who's been through a tragedy. Let's take a look. Thanks, Mary. So today we are here with Esther, who has quite the story on sanctification. So yeah, a few of my my house flooded, um, then it burned down. Then I lost my job. Then my husband left me. Oh, um, are, are you okay? No, I'm okay. Like hallelujah, Every, everything's good. Don't even worry about it. Praise Jesus. Sure? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. Absolutely. Okay. Um, why are you in such good spirits about all of this stuff? Oh well, let me explain. I'm Keswick, right? So um. Life was pretty perfect before this. Everything was good and great. Comfortable, comfortable, warm. But you're not sanctified when life is perfect. You gotta go through crisis. Something's, something bad's gotta happen to you. So, so I'm, okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm totally fine. I'm sanctified. Okay. okay. Right? So this makes it better? Yeah, totally. I'm fine. Well, have you heard of the Wesleyan view of sanctification? No. Okay, so the Wesleyan view of sanctification pretty much says that you're sanctified because of your relationship with God and like how he cleanses you from sin. Not that you have to go through bad things, but like it's God's work. But I have a relationship. That's not, that's enough? That's enough. That sounds a lot better. Yeah. I think, I, I think I'll go now, Phoebe. Thanks. Okay. Oh, nothing can go right for me. Well, well, there you have it. Back to you, Mary. Thank you, Phoebe. Next up, we have a video of an interrogation and the criminal excuse as to why he shouldn't be guilty. My shock here. Listen, Jonah, we have the evidence. Just confess. You don't know. Yeah, we do. We've got the evidence, Jonah. I'm not playing games. Just confess. Listen, Detective Martha. I'm Lutheran. I got no worries. I've already been justified, so we're done here. Look at the evidence. Tell me what you see. Listen, I've already been justified because of God's free gift in Jesus Christ. Yeah, but the judge is a reformed guy, and we've got no evidence of your participation in Christ or good works. So, you know, nothing in life is free. See you in court. Well... I really didn't expect that kind of response from a criminal law. Being a believer um, from the Lutheran view on the matter, it makes sense. Up next, we have an expert on sanctification. We'll be right back after this message from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Sarah here with Sanctification Incorporated, and we're here to talk to you about the different views we offer. Whether you're Lutheran, uh, Lutheran. or Keswick, or Wesleyan, the answer can be found right here. Welcome back. For our last piece on the night, we have a special guest, Dr. Timothy. He will be joining us this evening to help a few people understand what is going on with their own journey to sanctification. Please welcome Dr. Timothy. I'm Dr. Timothy, and I'm the expert of Beginning Sanctified. First up, we have Ruth. Hey, hey, y'all. Ruth, so tell us about your problem. Well, I guess my problem is, I don't know if there's anything, whether or not, like, that I can do to be sanctified. Do you know of anything? Yes, I actually have an excerpt from uh, a book I wrote. Uh, let me pull it out real quick. Um, yeah. Just seek a special empowerment of the Holy Spirit, and your heart will be cleansed from impurity and filled with power of spiritual and moral victory. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi. My name is Judith. How can I do the Christian thing so I can be sanctified? Um, seriously? Um, okay. You know the whole Holy Spirit gave you the power to say... Under sin, right? Yeah, yeah. Just be good and uh, do what Jesus said. Next. That's all right. Okay. Next. 
Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm, my name's Abraham. Um, so, like, I took on Christ and everything, but how do I know that, like... Oh, no worries, no worries. Just, uh, just simply trust that uh, you are united with Christ and, and you'll be fine. Thanks. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Doctor. Uh, yeah, I'm Eve, okay, and um, I just can't stop sinning. Like, it is a problem, okay? Let me just tell you, it's a problem. Do you have any suggestions? Um, not really. You just need to see some professional help, and that's all I can help you with. Um, Excuse me? Yeah, um, that's all the time I have today. My private jet is here, so I'll just get going. I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. This has been the World Christian Network Channel 7 at 7. I'm Mary Elizabeth. I'm John Matthew. Have a great night. Be sanctified. We'll see you tomorrow at 7. And we're off the air. The doctor was awful. That doctor was Oh my gosh. Horrible. Uh, the worst doctor I've ever seen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Go. Go? Yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Is that, that is awesome. Thank you, Phoebe. Next. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the, the World Christian Network Channel 7 at 7. I'm Mary Elizabeth. And I'm John Matthew. Have a great night. Be sanctified. And we'll see you tomorrow at 7. I forgot my lines. <laughs> hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Well, my name is uh, Dr. Timothy. The ex I'm the expert in getting satisfied. <laughs> <laughs>